Nandito Ako means Here I Am in Tagalog, and in the Filipino production was where David Archuleta made his acting debut. The 15-day shoot which wrapped over the weekend saw the ex-American Idol contestant in the lead role of Josh Bradley. Currently in Singapore, for a showcase, the singer was excited to talk about his role and the difficulties he faced. So you tell us about your character. Just a short yeah, preview. oh, my character, well, he's, he's very close to who I am, and that's what made it easier to make the decision, okay, I'm going to do this uh, with the series. But he is an international artist named Josh Bradley. He's half Filipino. He loses his mom in a fire Uh, when he was young and it, they get separated and um, later on like he goes on tour and comes back to the Philippines to kind of look for his mom like he looks goes back to his past and goes back to the hotel where you know just thinking about his mom and he meets these two girls it's kind of like a love triangle story. it's a love story and um, he meets uh, why not right yeah, yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> and um, so he goes and these girls kind of help him like find out more about his mom and like kind of looking ab about her because he isn't sure if she's dead or not because the, his uncle his american uncle that he he lived with back in the states always told her you know your mom's dead but he always kind of had a hope that you know maybe she's there out there and it's it's a it's a cool story like he's a very caring character he um it It was fun. Like I'd, I had some scenes where I'd, you know, had some fight scenes. And stuff. Wow, awesome. <laughs> it was fun. No, it was, it was really different. And then there's, you know, some emotional scenes too where it's like I'm not using very extreme emotions, especially because it's a drama. Right. But it was it was really fun to do. You know, the miniseries, it's like a, it's like a soap opera, basically. And so at first, you know, I'm not an actor. So I was like, I don't know how this is going to come about. I don't know if this is going to be weird or cheesy or embarrassing. But it was so much fun. I just had such a good time. And I, we finished um, filming Saturday morning and just this last Saturday. And it was, it was like bittersweet. Like I missed it. Like I already missed it. Like I wish I could keep going because it was so much, it was hard because You know, I had to learn how to, okay, how do you act? Like, how do you figure out how to emote and, like, get into this character, get into the scenes of what's going on? But, like, I learned a lot about myself because acting's a very artistic thing to do. Like, you have, it's an art. You have to, it's not easy to just, you know, I, I give props to those good actors and actresses for what they do. You learn so much about yourself because it's a very emotional thing, and... It, the other actors were just great. You know, they're all speaking in Tagalog, uh, yeah. Filipino, because it's a you know it's in the Philippines, and so I had to like it was hard to try and figure out okay what are they saying, and I have to memorize what they're saying in English, and so when they're talking to me, because my character is supposed to understand what they're saying, you and reply to them in I English. I reply to them in English. Sometimes there are little things here and there I, I'll say in Tagalog, but for the most part I'm speaking in English. But it was a good challenge. Like you know, it's you know, it's those those hard things to do that where you grow the most. You know, just like a mission, like the hard things. It, it was it was a challenge. It was hard, but it was so worth it. Like it was, it was worth it, and it, it's definitely something I would want to do again. Fans of his must be waiting for him to get back from acting and into the studio for a new album. But they might have to wait a little while longer for an album, with Archuleta taking a two-year leave of absence to focus on his religion. He speaks more on that in the next clip and offers insight on what fans can expect for his new album.